Sean Sport in podcast form. Going to jump into the footy world straight away, and there has been um, talk uh, from a few scribes to saying Jack Darling at the Eagles needs to be dropped Um, because his form's been really poor. I just want to stick up for Jack for a second. Number one, for the Eagles, that is. Number one. Um, they don't have any players to replace no, him. No, of course not. Yeah, no. so you, that's also, a stupid people. comment in the first place. There's also yeah. criticism saying that oh, there's players playing for the West Coast Eagles who aren't up to standard. It's like, yeah, we don't have any players. That's another oh, stupid call. I know. It's so, I know that, they're coming I know off the rookie they're just, list, dude. They're filling, you know, columns in the paper. But it's like, come on. I mean, there's a very obvious explanation for why they're playing players that aren't up to AFL yeah, but standard. When, when you're going like, to no um, choice. so-called uh, learned scribes, Natalie, <laughs> they should have a common sense <laughs> approach to this. And the think. other thing with Jack is that um, he's a big rooster, right? And you know when his vibe's down, yeah. I can tell straight away. I go, oh, yeah, well, he's not at his best, clearly. And I can see that West Coast fans, in particular, get frustrated with, with his performances. Yeah. But if he's not out there playing... Yes. The opposition have to give their best defender, their biggest, yeah, strongest right. defender, has to play on him because yeah. you don't know what he's capable of. Yeah. Well, yeah, you do. You do. You do. You know he's capable of kicking seven goals. Yes, you Therefore, still have to defend him. The yes. number two guy gets to play on Oscar Allen, who's mm. kicking four goals a game, and everyone's going, "What a champion yeah. he is!" And, and the number three and, guys and bear in mind, on Jake I do Waterman. think he's a champion. Yeah. Yep. But they get the f- they get yes. they get the better go because yeah. old mates out there still playing. Yeah. So you know, so it draws away a defender. So who said drop? Who said drop him? Oh, there's a lot of. There's been a lot Peter of Peter Sumich. I think. Peter Sumich was mm. one of them. I like uh, Sumich, by the way, but I don't agree with you. Because he's still those things. chip top bread. Wasn't he? Didn't he have bread? Uh, a bread uh, company? Uh, last time I was talking to Sumer, he was doing um, growing a lot of uh, herbs and stuff. And yeah. you, know, you know how people have yeah, those things gardens. in your market garden, oh. so you can have them in Does your. Does he do um, chives and dill? Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Jeez. Yeah, he's got a couple of greenhouses full of chives and dill. I don't know. One chives, one dill. Oh, Very specific. We should get him on for a chat. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Summer. Come on, <laughs> tell us about your stuff. And now let's move on to the other thing in footy. And over the last couple of days, it's been about Buddy Franklin, the fact that Collingwood supporters boo- boo- were booing him. And, you know, I guess because of what happened and people want to make a link between him and Adam Goods, I think there's there's no link there. But I, I find it bizarre. But why that, are they booing him then? What's the reason? I, I don't think there's a reason at he all. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't, you know, I, I know that like Fremantle supporters boo Andrew Gaff because of something that happened a few years ago. Whatever. That's fine. Um, Jason Horn Franz says, I don't agree with the fact that they're booing him because he left um, North Melbourne and went to Adelaide, but there's an actual reason for it. There is no reason to boo Buddy Franklin other than that he's a champion of the game. It's the herd mentality. This is Jonathan Brown saying exactly that now. You know, what percent was booing him for this reason? What percent was booing him for that reason? I think it's the herd mentality. I think 80, 90% of them wouldn't know what they're booing for. But they all get involved, don't they? Yeah, I just don't jump on the boo train. I, I think it, it does... It, it That particular incident yes. with him, it, it, it just... It, it's not a good look. I heard a, a woman calling in to um, uh, talk back radio in Melbourne, and she was saying she was one of the ones doing it. And she was saying, "Oh no, we were doing it to put him off. He's you know kicking for a goal." It's like, no, you weren't, because every time he touched the ball, you were doing it. That's and right. why all of a sudden now? I still think After we should follow years, some of these builders home and I get know. a crowd to boo them at their work. Yes. Imagine that. It'd be yeah. great. Someone in the telemarketing thing, yeah. trying to like you know get you to sign up. Yeah. <laughs> Rob the bear! You suck. The, the, the one thing, though, and I want everybody to know that this is completely different. You mentioned J- Jason Horn Francis, who's going to play against North Melbourne, the yes. team that he left. Oh, yeah, no worries. Andrew Gaff, bell to brace short in the head. Yes, there's a reason. This week, Tom Stewart's playing for Geelong. He's playing against Richmond. He knocked out um, uh, Dion Prestia a couple of weeks ago, whenever it was last season. He knocked him out, right? So that's a reason. Everyone goes, ah, I hate you, you know, yeah. boo, that kind of stuff. Um, Griffin Logue, when he played against Fremantle. Yeah, just, we get Just it. because get he it. left. Just yes. because. And that's, you know, they're like one-off yeah. instances. So you can see the origin of all those boos. Yes. Yeah. But just because Buddy's none. out there. Because yeah. he's just kidding? a champion. And also, that's the other silly. thing, he's one of the all-time greats of the game, right? And he's probably going to retire at the end of this year in all likelihood, right? Oh, no doubt. So your opportunity to see, you should be relishing the fact that you're even at the same ground as him. The man is an amazing player. What a legacy. Do they think it had racial undertones, the booing? Well, people aren't saying that exactly, Nath, but what happened with Adam Goods is they reckon it just started catching fire. And okay. and as we talk about that herd mentality thing, yes. so that happened on the weekend with Collingwood. If they don't come out and say something... I don't know who uh, Sydney, oh, Sydney playing Frio, but they're a home ground. And they say the next game, people start jumping on, and, and then just seeing, what for? Yeah. No, what for? Yeah. Anyway.
Worship the ground he walks on because it's not going to be around for much longer. And he's longer. a quiet dude. Like, yeah, that's know. right. I mean, yeah, inoffensive. He doesn't inoffensive. speak out about anything. No. Not that I think that's a reason that you should boo people. But no. I, it's hard to fathom what could have upset them enough to make them boo him every time he went near the ball. Sean's contract tells us we have to worship the ground he walks yeah, no, on. Yeah, we are contractually obliged to yeah, do that. Yeah, but I tell you what, we if that's only in this it. building, as soon as I walk to the car every day, yeah, you should hear the you. noise. We spit on you. Sean's Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au. Thank you.